Let's write the atomic orbital diagram for nickel. That's Ni. And the first thing we need to do when we do these atomic orbital diagrams, we do need an electron configuration for nickel. So let's do that. Nickel is right here on the periodic table. It's atomic number 28. That means it has 28 protons, but protons equal electrons in a neutral atom. All these elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. So we have 28 electrons, and we'll follow this pattern here to figure out the electron configuration for nickel. So we start out and we're in the first energy level 1s. We have 1s1, 1s2, and then that's full. So we go to the second energy level, 2s1, 2s2, then over to p, 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. p can hold up to 6. Then to 3s, we have 3s2, 3p6. Then the fourth energy level, we have 4s2. And finally, we have 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3d, 8. And if you add the numbers up on top, that gives us 28. We have 28 electrons. So we use this electron configuration to write the orbital diagram, the atomic orbital diagram for nickel. So what we're really interested in showing with both of these notations here is where the electrons are around the nucleus of the nickel atom. So you can imagine this is the nucleus and we have our energy levels kind of like shells around the nucleus. And that's what we're trying to describe. So we have 1s2, we put our 2 there in opposite directions, 2s2. For the 2p, for p orbitals, we spread them out first and then we pair them up. We have 3s2, 3p6, we have 4s2, and then finally we have our 3d8, we spread those out. And this is the atomic orbital diagram for nickel. You could also write it like this. Again, it's the same thing. We're just trying to show where those electrons are around the nucleus of the nickel atom. This is Dr. B with the Atomic Orbital Diagram for Nickel. Thanks for watching.